I need you to come so that parents can come fill it in. We're going to fill every chair probably today. Also, please stay masked. Thank you so much. We have extra masks over at the table if you don't have one.
Hello? Oh, there we go. All right, we're going to go ahead and get started. If I could get your attention. Awesome. So good evening, Apple Valley High seniors, staff, and families. First and foremost, it is so good to see you all here in person and be able to recognize you seniors for all of your hard work over the last four years. This night is always one of my favorites as this is a way for us to honor and celebrate your dedication, perseverance, and especially with this year, your resilience toward achieving your goals. Tonight you are being recognized because of a high level of achievement in academics, athletics, a specific talent or skill, as well as for demonstrating great personal attributes and characteristics. In many cases, these awards were quite competitive and one person or many individuals saw something special in you. The AVHS staff is so proud of you and I know your, your friends and family are equally proud. Continue to push yourselves to be the best at whatever you put your mind to. I can't wait to see all the amazing things that you all accomplish. All right, we are now ready for the Pledge of Allegiance by Sadie Anderson. Sadie, where are you at? Here we go. We have our flag here in the middle. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Got it. All right. We apologize. I would like to introduce our masters of ceremony up here. They will be the ones um, introducing most of the awards. So we have Mrs. Arredondo. We have Mrs. Seely. We have Mr. Hazan. And we have Mrs. Watson. Before we get into some of the specific awards, we always start the night with the distinguished scholars. Distinguished, just the, the distinguished scholars are a group of about 60 students this year that have, throughout their four years, taken at least 10 honors and AP classes with a C or better, as well as no Ds or Fs in any class. So I'm going to call you up 10 at a time so that you can come get your distinguished scholar cord and your award. At that point in time, you can take your mask down, take a little quick picture, and then we'll go to the next 10. So we don't have all 60 of you here at the same time. Right, so you're going to come up, 10 on the stage, quick picture, leave, and then I'll go to the next 10. Please hold your applause until I get through all 10, and then applaud, picture, and then go. All right? I apologize ahead of time. I have practiced some of the names, but I'm going to do my very best. Apologize. All right, Jennifer Aguilar, Tice Ali, please hold your applause till we get through all 10. Sadie Anderson, Gabriella Arias, Fatima Bari, Anthony Bonato, Katera Bors, Caleb Bordalis, Riley Bourne. Come on up. All right, quick pictures, great, okay, and exit. There we go, thank you. All right, here we go. Daviel Castaneda, Lizette Castaneda, Julia Chomnis, Ruby Concepcion, Aaliyah Cornejo, Jennifer Cruz, Natalie Cruz, Jaslyn Delgado, and Vicky Doe, come on up.
applaud. Here we go. Pictures. Remove masks. Cheese. All right. And go ahead and exit. All right, here we go. Ricardo Espinoza, Caleb Felton, Mia Fernandez, Brisa Garcia Sandoval, Moises Gonzalez De La Rosa, Isaac Gunther Negron, Jacob Guffey, Peyton Hall, and Leonardo Hernandez. All right, Antonio Hoguera, James Hopper, Margarita Jimenez, Aubrey Kurtz, Manasi Lapsavala, Aubrey LaRue, Olivia Lee, Deja Lively, Emily Lovato, Carolyn Manker, Lachey Manzo. All right, Olivia Lee. No, uh, sorry, we landed off with the shame Manzo. Sorry, Kevin McCaller, Haley Merchant, Rasul Muhammad Ali, Teresa Montez, Jasmine Mulford, Janelle Nakoud, Philip Wen, Frank Perez, Tian Lee Key, Logan Rios. And Renata Romero. My apologies, Summer Duran, you're up next here. One of our valedictorians, Summer, come on up. And Samuel Schmelzel, Wyatt Schultz, Jacqueline Sharp, Maisel Margaret Sia, David Soto, Austin Steege, Ishan Subramaniam, Gabriel Tem, Austin Thielen, Summer Tolson, Macy Tremblay, Brianna Vasquez, Emma Weinberg, and Wilhelmina Yap. And Dominic Kumo.
All right, we're going to get started with the Apple Valley High School Awards. We are first starting with the ASB Sundival Pride Award. This award was created by Linda Williamson, the ASB director from 2007, to give recognition to an outstanding ASB leader. This senior had to be in ASB leadership for a full year demonstrating dedication, commitment to the school, and considerable contributions to the leadership program. There is a perpetual plaque with the honored student's name on, on it in the front office. Mr. Collins is here tonight, and he's going to be presenting this award. Good evening. The Sun Devil Pride Award was established in May 2001. This highly prominent award hangs in the main office of Apple Valley High School, like Ms. Arredondo said. This is one of the most prestigious awards that ASB gives out. It recognizes the student's dedication and hard work required to be an outstanding leader someone who has made a difference here at AVHS. The entire ASB leadership class participates in voting for the recipient, and the criteria includes student must be a senior, student must be in the ASB leadership class for both semesters of the current school year, student must receive a majority of the votes from the total number of students enrolled in the leadership class, and student must have demonstrated on a consistent basis dedication, commitment to the school, and considerable contributions to the leadership program. I am pleased to announce that the ASB class has chosen to recognize this young lady for all she has done for the student leadership class, our school, and our community. Congratulations, Sadie Anderson. Next is the Tony Balsamo Leadership Award and Memorial Scholarship. This was started in 1988 by the ASB Kurt Landreth to honor Mr. Balsamo, who was the first principal of Apple Valley High School. This honors graduates who are involved in the leadership of the school. In 2002, this was a combined with $200 scholarship as a memorial to Mr. Balsamo. There is a perpetual plaque with the honored student's name on it in the front office, and Mr. Collins will be giving this award to. Tony Balsamo Leadership Award was established by the Associated Student Body, like she said, in 1988 to honor seniors who were involved in the leadership of the school. It is named after a man who valued all student programs equally. Mr. Balsamo, Apple Valley High School's first principal, truly appreciated and recognized the contributions made by students to and for their school. He respected their ideas and opinions. To receive this award, a student must be a senior involved in the leadership of the school and maintain a minimum grade point average of 2.5. Along with their name added to the perpetual plaque that hangs in the front office, the award winner will receive a $200 scholarship courtesy of ASB. This year's award winner is someone who has been an important member of ASB for all four years. It is my honor to present this award and scholarship to Maisel Margaret Sia. The next awards are going to go to Career Technical Education, Outstanding Student of the Year. Mrs. Ciancio will be handing your award right up front. The first one is for Animal Science. The Student of the Year is Lana Leonard. For Agriculture and Industrial Engineering is Hazan Quick. I'm sorry, Hazen. Hazen Quick. For automotive technology, the award goes to Deacon Duran. Yeah. 
Next is for precision machining. The student is Peyton Hall. For bakery occupations, the student of the year is Carly Nichols. Next is computer programming. The student of the year is Aaliyah Cornejo. The student of the year for construction technology is Jose Cortez. Not Next me. is culinary arts. The student of the year is Tucker Ryan. Next is graphic communications. The student of the year is Matthias Loesch. For emergency first responder, the student of the year is Amelia Fitzgerald. The mass score student of the year is Brianna Denimar. For multimedia technology, the student of the year is David Nettles. Come on, DJ. For 12 lead EKG, the student of the year is Emily Lovato. The student, oh gosh, sorry. The student of the year for sports medicine is Aubrey Martinez.
The five focused areas that students can apply for are good citizenship, most approved, English language learners, career pathways, Carla Bab Acock. Each, each year, students are awarded funds based on their area of focus. For English language learner, we have Cielo Rodriguez. For good citizenship, we have Jennifer Cruz, Jasmine Wolfer, Jacob Soria, and Stephen Wright. This award recognizes students who have obtained a high level of proficiency in speaking, reading, and writing in one or more languages in addition to English. The award will be given on the student's diploma, and the student's transcript will reflect this achievement. They will be given a medal to wear during their graduation ceremony. For the Arabic language, Rizul Muhammad Ali. For the French language, Jason Reyes. For Mandarin Chinese, Tian Wu Chi. For Spanish language, Daniela Batista, Cindy Benitez, Javier Castaneda, Isaac Castaneda, Julia Chumas, Jennifer Cruz, Matt Cruz, Jasmine Delgado, Vicky Doe, Annabelle Escarino. Ricardo Espinosa, Aiden Flores, Alfredo Garibay III, Brianna Gonzalez, Moises Gonzalez de la Rosa, Isaac Gunther Negron, Andy Hernandez, Leonardo Hernandez, Antonio Teguera, Christopher Jimenez, Margarita Jimenez, Olivia Lee. You have to turn it down. Angela Lopez, Leshi Anzo, Naeli Martinez, Teresa Montez, Jasmine Mulker, Joel Murillo, Frank Perez, Logan Rios, Cielo Rodriguez, Renata Romero, Rebecca Silva, David Soto, Leo Vargas, and the school by literacy candidate, Ishmael Jimenez.
Kiwanis is a global organization of volunteers dedicated to improving the world one child and one community at a time. The Kiwanis Club of Apple Valley helps children throughout the world and in our local community. Students on the AVHS campus participate in the Key Club, which is affiliated with the Kiwanis Club. Members participate in community service, conferences, local Kiwanis meetings, and participate in community service projects. Additionally, seniors must be in good academic standing and have good citizenship. This year's recipient of the Apple Valley Kiwanis Club Juni Gabar Scholarship, which will be presented by Mrs. Ziancio, is Fatima Bari, as well as Jasmine Mulford. And here to present the Charter Hospice Scholarship is Danielle Hidalgo. I'm very excited and honored to award two $500 scholarships to two of my students who have been in the program since 2018, and I'm really sad to see go. Um, one of them being my president, First off, I would like to award Ruby Concepcion. And second, I would like to award Jasmine Mulford. Next is the Dell National Scholarship. For the amount of $20,000 was designated to provide a support system for the challenges many students face while pursuing a degree. Dell Scholars targets motivated students who are better than their numbers, indicate and demonstrate the drive to succeed despite personal obstacles. The ideal candidate will demonstrate a unique GPA of grit, potential, and ambition in their quest for a college education. The recipient of this scholarship goes to Jennifer Cruz. Next is the Dell Textbook Scholarship, which is offered to minimize the burden for students and their families when it comes to purchasing books. Dell Scholars are selected yearly to receive scholarships plus non-monetary support. The recipient of this scholarship is also Jennifer Cruz. Next up, we have the Elks National Foundation Most Valuable Student Scholarship. Victorville Elks Lodge BPO number 1877 promotes the Most Valuable Student Scholarship, which is for students pursuing a four-year degree on a full-time basis in a U.S. college or university. Our students received the small scholarship this year for their leadership, academics, and community service participation. The, uh, the California Hawaii Elks Association state level goes to Rasul Muhammad Ali. And Fatima Bari. Futurist Foundation Scholarship. In conjunction with business in the Victor Valley, 
provide scholarships to students who have high academics, community service, and extracurricular activities who will be attending college in the fall. Our recipients for this scholarship are Jacob Soria, Aubrey LaRue, and Jasmine Mulford. The Jason Gay Memorial Scholarship. Jason Gay was a student of AVHS and very involved in the choir department. Mr. and Mrs. Gay set up this scholarship to support students pursuing a college, a college degree who have excelled in music or drama and have high Christian moral standards. They began the scholarship in 2006 in memory of their son who passed away. There is a perpetual plaque honoring Jason Gay that the names of the recipients are engraved on each year. Uh, Mr. McLean will be presenting this year's award to Grace Lidecker. <laughs> Up next, we have the Lynn Foundation Scholarship. The Lynn Foundation awards, scholarship, awards scholarships each year to each year to students of the high desert, particularly those who are pursuing uh, the science, technology, engineering, and math courses of study. Again, Mr. McLean will be presenting these year's awards to Christopher Jimenez, Deja Lively, Aubrey LaRue, and Stephen Wright. Every, five, every year, five scholarships are awarded to students that are interested in the field of environmental science, environmental engineering, or other closely related science or engineering fields. Here to present the Mojave Environmental Education Consortium Science and Engineering Scholarship Award is Mr. Adam Powell. Congratulations, seniors. This has been a trying year, so congratulations to all of you. On behalf of Meek, it is my honor and privilege uh, to present two scholarships, both in the amount of $2,500 for the pursuit of uh, environmental sciences or the engineering field. Ishan Subramaniam. and Austin Thielen. The Mojave River League Senior Athlete of the Year is an award honored given to the area's top high school athletes. The Gabrielson Awards are given out in memory of Rick Gabrielson, who was a baseball and basketball star here at Apple Valley High School and went on to a baseball career as a player and a coach for the LA Dodgers organization. He returned to Apple Valley to lead the Sun Devils to three league baseball titles as a coach. He passed away in 1994 and that same year a scholarship fund bearing his name was created. The award began as an honor for the area's best baseball players, but expanded in 2006 to include all sports. This year, there are six recipients of the Gabrielson Award. Mr. Robbins will be presenting these awards to Marquise Cato. <laughs> Serenity Delator. Aubrey Custer, Aww. 
Aubrey Martinez. If you guys can come back and stay up here for a picture, that'd be great. Ethan Peratt. And Jacob Soria. Next is the Morning Suns Children's Foundation Scholarship. This provides scholarships to students who will be attending a two or four year college or a vocational technical school. They want to assist students who have undergone a serious hardship, yet are able to maintain good grades and life direction. This scholarship is awarded to Lana Leonard. Is Mrs. Hernandez here? Is Mrs. Hernandez here to give it to her? You can come up for your award. I just don't know where it's at. Congrats. National Honor Society National Scholarship serves to honor those students who have demonstrated excellence in the areas of leadership, service, and character. Ms. Siancio will present the award to Ishan Subramaniam. The National Society of High School Scholars Award has been created to help reduce financial barriers for high school students as they prepare for upcoming careers in STEM majors, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, business, economics, public policy, and environmental science and sustainability. The foundation seeks to engage these future leaders in order to help fuel the global, global economy stimulate innovation and creativity, and yield a strong ethical foundation for decision making. The recipient of this award is Dorotea Cortez. Oro Grande Foundation Animal Science Pathway Scholarship is for students that completed a career technical education pathway and plan on pursuing a career in animal science. These students showed academic achievements along with involvement in extracurricular activities related to their career path. The award winner for the Oro Grande Foundation Animal Science Pathway Regional Scholarship is Lana Leonard. Next is the RIMS AVID Scholarship. This was established in December of 2002 to benefit students graduating from AVID programs in Riverside, Indio, Mono, and San Bernardino counties who plan on attending a four-year college or university and demonstrates individual determination and commitment to higher education. The scholarship is awarded to Elizabeth Montez. The Shirley Richard Memorial Scholarship was founded in 2012 by the children of Shirley Richard, who was the very first counseling secretary here at AVHS when it opened in 1967. She worked in this capacity for 25 years. 
Each year, Mrs. Richard's sons want to award the top male and female basketball players who show the most leadership abilities and the greatest basketball skills. Here to present is Mr. Geisel. <laughs> Something like that. Um, this year's Outstanding Female Basketball Player is awarded to Presley Vargas. <laughs> and Outstanding Male Basketball Player to Logan Rios. Next is the Gloria and Stanley Shaver Memorial Scholarship. This is for students planning to pursue a career in teaching. This scholarship is awarded to Jasmine Mulford. This next recognition is for Skills USA. Skills USA is a national organization that focuses on skills and leadership in multiple career and technical education industry sectors. This year's competition was held both regional and through the state virtually, and this year's national competition will be held this summer. To be able to compete nationally, you have to win at the regional and the state level. And this year's gold medal winner is for medical assisting, and it goes to Marissa Feria. Next is the Smile Scholarship, and Dr. Malia is here to present this. Good evening, everybody. So the Smile Scholarship was started in 2019 by Dr. Paul Bell, Dr. Curtis Chu, and myself, Dr. Eddie Malia, as a way to give back to our community in hopes of graduating seniors paying it, for, paying it forward someday. It focuses on the commitment to help others in such a way to positively impact our local high desert community. As an alumnus of Apple Valley High School, class of 2005, I am excited to be here today with Dr. Curtis Chu to present the recipient of this year's SMILE Scholarship. Each year, four $1,000 scholarships are handed out to graduating seniors all over the high desert. And AVHS's Teresa Montez is one of those well-deserving students. I just wanted to say a few more words about Teresa. Not only did she thrive academically, she was also involved in several extracurricular activities. She understands the importance of self-sacrifice in order to improve the lives of those who are less fortunate than herself. She founded the Mental Health Awareness Club with her sister as a way to provide mental health resources to struggling students. She's a perfect recipient for the SMILE Scholarship. Please help me once again in congratulating Teresa. Seroptimus International of Victor Valley and Happy Trails Children's Foundation Irene Somerset Gold Memorial Scholarship. This is offered to a graduating senior girl uh, pursuing a career in business, science, technology, education, engineering, or mathematics, in addition to having participated in extracurricular activities. This year's participant is Fatima Bari. The STEM Inland Empire Scholarship is available to high school seniors pursuing a career in science, technology, engineering, or math and have, have achieved high academics. Mrs. Ciancio will be handing this year's recipient of the STEM Inland Empire Scholarship to Jennifer Cruz.
The St. Joseph Health St. Mary's Junior Volunteer Scholarship is awarded through the Junior Volunteer Program. This scholarship is offered to those students who participated by offering their volunteer services while learning more about healthcare, as well as the importance of giving back to their community. Mrs. Ciancio will be handing the recipients of this year's St. Mary's, excuse me, St. Joseph's Health St. Mary's Junior Volunteer Scholarship to Fatima Bari and Nayeli Martinez. Valero Scholarship is offered to students who demonstrated participation and leadership in community and or extracurricular activities. Um, Mr. McLean is here to present, but the student is not here. Um, and it goes to Joel Murillo. <laughs> Valu Quality Truck and Body Scholarship. This scholarship was begun by Mrs. Leslie Hayes in 2016. It is provided to seniors who have excelled in agricultural engineering courses and who have excelled in welding skills. Here to present the award is Mrs. Pollard. On behalf of the Hayes family and Blue Quality Truck Bodies, I just want to congratulate all of you seniors this year. I have three that I would like the honor of presenting a uh, welding scholarship award to. It's for advancement in their future welding career. Um, my first one, I have to say something. As soon as I read this application for this scholarship, brought tears to my eyes. Not only have you guys had the pandemic to overcome, but he as well has a lot of personal things that he has overcome too. And it's a great honor for me to present Emmanuel Abidas Gutierrez for a $3,000 scholarship. <laughs> the next two scholarships I'd like to present are for $500. Um, for Wade Garvin. <laughs> and Hazen Quick. The Victor Elementary Education Foundation solicits and designates funds to provide two years of tuition and books at an approved institute of higher learning to qualifying sixth graders who meet the scholarship criteria upon graduation from an accredited local high school. The student that is getting the Victor Elementary Education Foundation Academic Scholarship is... Oh, we have... Melissa Timko Miller here to present. Hello, I'm also here with my fellow board member, Treasurer Ruel Heron, and we are so proud to be here to um, announce our scholarship recipient. Um, our association is affiliated with an elementary school district, but our mission has always been to make um, higher education attainable for all students. And as stated, this recipient is a former Victor Elementary School District student. Um, I want to commend all the seniors here. Obviously, your last two years of high school were nothing like you ever imagined it would be. Um, we commend you on your motivation and resiliency, such as this applicant we have. Our criteria is extremely rigorous, and this student um, stepped up to the challenge and was able to get this great opportunity for higher education. And kudos also to the family members and the staff at this high school. 
for motivating students and having high expectations for them. So without any further ado, Ruel will announce who it is and tell them what this person won. So again, good evening. Congratulations again to all the students, faculty, families here. So uh, we're proud that this is one of seven scholarships that we're presenting to high, the high desert students out here. And it's for $2,760 to Victor Valley College. And the winner this year is Aubrey Peterson. Victor Elementary Teachers Association scholarships are provided to children of teachers who are members of the Victor Elementary Teachers Association. Mr. McLean is here to present the award to Jacqueline Sharp. Next, we have the Walter Clark Legal Group Civics Achievement Scholarship. Walter Clark is an attorney in the Inland Empire, and he helps students who are planning on entering careers related to public service. For instance, law enforcement, community activities, legal system, teaching, and government. We have participated in this since before 2006, and our students have continued to win this scholarship each year. Here to present this award is Mimi Brady. Hi, so I'm not Mimi Brady, okay? Uh, this is Mimi Brady, and I'm Anthony Garcia. Um, we're here representing Walter Clark Legal Group. You know, it's a crazy year, and you guys have been through a lot this year, and Walter Clark Legal Group every year awards a person who goes above and beyond, both in the classroom and outside of the classroom. And this, young, this year, uh, we've awarded a young lady who demonstrates that, both in the community and in the classroom, an active member in the community in her church and uh, different organizations such as the Millionaire uh, Mind Kids and Young Eagles Aviation Club, de definitely demonstrates those characteristics. And this year we'd like to honor a $1,000 scholarship to Miss Jennifer Cruz. Next is the Whataburger Scholarship. This is offered to immediate members of Frontline Heroes to support them in reaching their education and career goals. Mr. McLean will present this scholarship to Joel Murillo. Next is Women in Transportation Scholarship. This awards scholarships to women who are pursuing careers in transportation through undergraduate and graduate programs. The scholarship is competitive and based on the applicant's specific transportation goals and academic record. The winner of this scholarship is Jennifer Cruz. Up next, we have the military awards for the United States Army. Enlistment, we have Victor Flores. For the United States Navy, we have Deontay Myers. And presenting the U.S. Marine Corps awards, we have Sergeant Fernando Blancas. Good evening, Apple Valley. 
It's an honor to be here tonight. My name is Staff Sergeant Blancas with the United States Marine Corps. First and foremost, I'd like to thank the faculty and staff for their support this year. I would like to congratulate the graduating class of 2021. Each year, the Marine Corps takes pride in recognizing outstanding performances in academics, athletics, and music. All three fields exemplify the qualities that are inherent to the Marine Corps, smart, tough, and elite. The United States Marine Corps takes pleasure in presenting the distingu Distinguished Athlete Award to Travis Gerlock and Rose Hawkins. The United States Marine Corps takes pleasure in presenting Scholastic Excellence Award to Fatima Bari. The United States Marine Corps takes pleasure in presenting the Semper Fidelis Award for Musical Excellence to Caleb Felton. Now I'd like to recognize a few young men and women who have successfully passed the required mental, moral, and physical examination and have been accepted for enlistment in the delayed entry program of the United States Marine Corps. The defense of our country and freedom is the duty and privilege of every citizen. The Marine Corps has a proud tradition of outstanding service to our country in peace and war. Voluntary membership in this elite military organi organization is clear demonstration of American qualities of patriotism and loyalty. I would like to recognize Natalia A. Cassis, Derek J. Colbert, Abraham C. Holton. Samantha A. Nunez. Darian J. Galbialka Davis. to again congratulate the graduating class of 2021 and to the families and students, faculty. I know this year was filled with tough and difficult challenges. You guys are what it means to be resilient. And thank you. Next, we will move on to the university honors or scholarships. Mr. McLean will be presenting these next handful of awards. For Arizona State University, Academic Full Ride Scholarship, Summer Tolson. Azusa Pacific University Dean Scholarship, Kathleen Steingel. Benedictine University Football Scholarship, Ethan Peratt. Baylor University Academic Scholarship, Melissa Johnson. These next awards, these next handful of awards are for Cal Baptist University on the Dean Academic Scholarship, Cielo Rodriguez, Madeline McIntosh, Amber Timmons, Presley Vargas, 
And for the Cal Baptist University Director Scholarship, Shannon Smith and Caitlin Donovan. Cal Lutheran University Academic Scholarship, Mrs. Ciancio will present to, excuse me, for academic and athletic, Brisa Garcia Sandoval. Cal State University Fullerton Merit Scholarship, Jennifer Cruz. Cal State University Los, Ange Los Angeles Academic Scholarship, Elizabeth Montez. Cal State Poly University Pomona, Air Force ROTC Scholarship, Luke Courthouse. Fisher College Presidential and Honors Scholarship, Angel Hoy. Fordham University Academic Scholarship, Davielle Castaneda. Greenville University Women in Leadership Scholarship, as well as the W.T. Hogue Scholarship and a Softball Scholarship, Madison Case. Midway University Academic Scholarship, Athletic Scholarship, and an Out-of-State Scholarship goes to Aubrey Custer. Montana State University Athletic Scholarship, Jacqueline Sharp. <laughs> Mount St. Mary's University Los Angeles President's Award and Mount Scholarship, Gabriella Arias. <laughs> Mrs. Ciancio will present the Northern Arizona University Founders Blue Tuition Scholarship to Haley Volts. <laughs> Southern Utah University Academic Scholarship, Brock Arredondo. <laughs> Board of Southern Utah University Board of Trustees Academic Scholarship, Robert Cruz. <laughs> Southern Utah University Non-Resident Founders Scholarship, Taylor Reed. Southern Utah University Western Graduate Exchange Academic Non-Resident Scholarship, Layla Bonham. Stanford University Full Tuition Award, Fatima Bari. The Masters University Distinguished Academy Academics Award, Austin Thielen, as well as the Master Global, Global Scholarship. University of Arizona Wildcat Excellence Award and Academic Scholarship, excuse me, Ec Excellence Award goes to Daisy Guerrero. University of Arizona Academic Scholarship, Nayeli Martinez. University of California Davis Academic Scholarship, Summer Duran. <laughs> Mr. McLean will present the last, excuse me, the last, the next few. University of Incarte, <laughs> excuse me. Um, University of Incart Wor World Achievement Award to Joelle Murillo. <laughs> University of Las Vegas Excellence Scholarship, Natalie Hernandez. <laughs> University of Redlands Achievement Scholarship Award, Sylvia Jimenez. <laughs> University of St. Mary Athletic Scholarship, Dakota Alvarez. And with the final three, Mrs. Ciancio will present University of Wyoming Western Graduate Award to Marilyn Tippetts. <laughs> Willamette University Compass Scholarship to Stephen Wright. 
as well as the Willamette Impact Award. Congratulations. All right, can we get another huge round for all of our award recipients? Congratulations, seniors. You're so deserving. Before we end the evening, I want to thank a few people for making this evening possible. But first, I do want to say something real quick about the um, uh, award that Lana Leonard received, uh, the, the Sunshine Hills Foundation. They, she was presented that about a week and a half ago. We got to surprise her. But I wanted to mention it just by the sheer amount. It's an over $10,000 scholarship award. So congratulations again, Lana. I just wanted to mention that. They were there. They, they did a nice uh, setup for her in A1, and we got to surprise her, and it, it was really exciting. Um, so the people I want to thank, first, we need to thank the Carpeno family for donating this tent to make it possible that we could have this in person and out of the wind. So thank them by go eating at their restaurant or buying a Christmas tree under this tent next Christmas. But we're so appreciative of the Carpino family uh, for allowing us to be able to use their tent. Um, I also want to thank um, the Camp Academy and specifically Mrs. Pratt, Ms. Spini, um, for being able to um, live stream this event as well as the students, so thank you. I'd like to thank the faculty that donated their evening, uh, Master of Ceremonies, and the other faculty and the other presenters that were here um, to present those awards. And um, as well as last but certainly not least, the woman that made this evening possible, she does all of the scholarships, she presents, um, she coordinates this evening, she writes the script, she invites you all, she prepares, gets this all coordinated. Um, we could not do this without her. So everybody, please give a warm uh, thank you to Miss Natalie Herrera. So this, um, a couple reminders, seniors, remember that uh, you have graduation practice on Monday morning um, at 7.45 um, down by the stadium. We can't wait. Um, and um, so again, congratulations to you all. We're so proud of you. It was such an honor to be able to award these to you in person, and so we're very blessed to be able to do that. So please, um, you have two last days here at school, and, um, and then we will see you next week for a very, very exciting in-person ceremony. We do have some, um, some things to drink and some things to eat. Unfortunately, we're not allowed to just stay and, and mingle um, we do need to grab those and then kind of spread out. But again, thank you parents for coming. We really appreciate it. And thank you seniors. <laughs>